How's it going guys? Welcome back to Tring Shoe Repairs. If you're new here, my name's Dan and this is my YouTube channel. So I've got a cool little project today and notice I said project rather than repair because it is. We've got these Ferragamo loafers. Uh, the customer's a big fan of the channel, said I could get creative with the repair. So I've got some tricks up my sleeve. I'm going to do a nice custom job on this. Also, they've been repaired before, not so great, and they're in a bit of a state. So um, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So without further ado, let's jump in. So once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're all well. Hope you had a good Halloween a couple of weeks ago. So let's talk about the job. We've got these Ferragamo loafers. Now they've been repaired already with a half leather sole. Now they're quite a simple construction, just a cemented sole. So what I'm gonna do is strip the whole lot off, replace it with full JR leather and dovetail heels. Um, I'm also going to, if I can, add a fiddle back waist, which is part of my uh, creation on this job. Also the toes, if you can see, it's actually much worse on the other one, but they're a bit tatty there. So we're going to try and sort out the scuffs on the toe. So um, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with all this lot is put some jerk off sole strip up on because I know this is going to be tough to get apart. Well, I'll give you a secret. I've already repaired the right hand shoe and the previous cobbler put about a million layers of glue on which is good for a repair not so good for me having to fix it so sole stripper and heat is going to loosen everything up Actually, before we get too stuck in, I want to show you something. Let's play a game. Now, do you remember I showed you in the last uh, video how busy I've been recently? I've cleared all my work. This is the jobs inbox for shoes that come in through the week. These are normally full to the brim, finished work. So I'm going to just do this shoe repair, nothing else, and we'll see how many uh, shoes come in the box whilst I'm doing the video. It's a race against the boxes. Hi there. How can I help? Hi. Oh, some nails there. Sometimes cobblers will put last tacks on the waist of a half sole to secure it. I don't like to do that personally. I prefer if you just glue everything properly and stitch it properly, then we don't need these tacks. Come on, are you going to come out or what, Mr. Nail? Come on, I just want to be friends. There he is. Okay, rock and roll, we've made a lovely start. Now, you will have seen that I finished it off on the belt sander, and the reason being is as I was pulling the sole off, this is so uh, thoroughly glued together, it was pulling all of the rand off, so it's basically got a full, you could call it a midsole or a rubber rand. It's directly tacked onto the upper, so as we're pulling it away, it was really making a mess of things. Sometimes it's easier to just use the belt sander. Now, this is it as original. What I can show you on the cover shoe, is we cut away a recess and this is going to allow us to put a very thin layer of cork in for some added comfort and space for our fiddleback component so let's carry on how are we doing with the shoes in the boxes anyway dun 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 three pairs that's not so bad so what's next on the agenda is before we can get the leather sole on, we need to build the toe back up. It's completely worn away. Build it up with rubber. But also we're going to try and sort out these scuffs. So what we're going to do is just take some 
very fine sandpaper and very lightly sand the leather back until we get rid of the scuffs and scratches. And then we're going to dye it. Right, so we've got some Thebing's professional dye for this next step. Obviously we do all this, pull the soles on so we can actually get to it properly. Okay, so we're all dyed and to build up the toe, here are our rubber pieces. Specifically for toe build-ups, they're called toe pieces. So, let's get sticky. So obviously we don't glue the whole shoe just yet, we're just gonna sort the toe up first and then move on. Okay gang, moving on, so time to address our fiddle back. So here's what I've made, these are our fiddle back components, essentially a foundation that gives the, uh, the fiddle back waist its shape. It's made out of leather, I just whipped it up quick, it's just going to sit there. Now the reason these work is because, number one, we've got the footbed there that is rock solid, but also the bottom of the fiddle back is flat, rather than the pointy bit we see at the top, so that's why it's comfortable to stand on. So we're just going to get a bit of glue on it, to anchor it in place obviously. Has anybody noticed that I've cleaned my glue pot? Some of you guys seem to get quite distressed at the state of my glue pot, so I thought I'd give it a clean. I don't want you guys being distressed and having sleepless nights because of my messy glue pot. And also, who appreciates the progress of the rubber band ball? It's like a Godzilla rubber band ball. Okay, ladies and gents, so now it's time to get our soles on. So, as I say, we're using the JR leather. Now, you guys will have been used to seeing this. So, this stuff is premium oak tan leather. Sad news, unfortunately, the JR tannery has gone out of business, which is a shame, but uh, don't ask me why I'm not an expert, but it seems to be the consensus that it's just another victim of COVID. Shoe repairs in general has been very quiet for the past two years for a lot of people. And unfortunately, leather tanneries are quite small enterprises anyway. So, that's a shame. So. Uh, Saying that, if you want JR Leather, it is still probably some of the best stuff. If you're after it, expect that you'll probably pay a bit of a premium on it now as stock tends to dwindle because it just doesn't exist anymore. But also don't worry, there's lots of other fine leather and it seems to be everybody's fighting for pole position on who's going to be the market leader right now. Another brand or sole that I've already started using is uh, Wears. Wears Gold, this is an oak tanned leather also and it's, it's quite similar to JR anyway. Anyway, let's get to it and get glue on our soles because we're we're going to lose against our race against the boxes. Should we see how the boxes are looking anyway? Ron, can we have a box update, please? So we'll just get our soles in our oven, heat up the glue to activate it, and then stick it on. All right, so getting our sole on, two things to consider this time. What we're gonna do is just wet the sole. That's gonna loosen up the leather and let it bend into shape exactly how we want it. And then of course use the round-edged hammer so we don't get any hammer marks in the leather. But first I just wanna get a little bit more heat on the shoe itself. And I can tell you, so it only just fits because <laughs> the shoe's about a 12, 13.
Okay, so I'm going to give him a quick press and then we can work at trimming the salt shape and just accentuating the fiddle back. I'm showing you here guys this is the norm keg or keg which i'm using but the uh sanding pad there is broken and let me get my ear defenders out of the way to change it is really annoying because you have to get all these little oops see there's a broken one flaps all tucked in and overlapping each other perfectly or else it just sort of explodes when you go to use it it's a bit like a sea urchin <laughs> Should be all right. So I'm pretty happy with how the fiddleback's coming on. Uh, now, when I was sanding this just here, we were using really, really fine sandpaper, fine as frogs here, and that's so we get a nice smooth finish on the leather rather than a rough sandy defect. But before I start inking up and designing the sole, uh, I've decided I'm gonna add gold Lulu plates because I think that's really gonna look nice of what we're doing. So let's cut that in.
All right, so there we go, guys. We're finished with the sole portion. What do we reckon? Got that nice fiddle back going on. Custom design, brass, Lulu, French tips. And uh, they've been Blake stitched. So for those of you that are new to the channel, different types of stitching. A Blake stitch is where the stitch goes through the bottom of the sole through to the inside of the shoe. So we have to make sure we take the insoles out before we stitch it, which I'm gonna put back in. Uh, but for now, we need to move on to the heel. Now, um, oh, let me show you, look what I've got. I've got a magnet for Johnny and Emma's wedding. This is my reminder. Uh, to magnets put on my fridge, but I don't have a fridge. The fridge is made of glass, so I need somewhere to find it. Help me find somewhere to put it. I found somewhere, don't worry. I'm gonna put it on the side of my finisher. There we are. And congratulations to Johnny and Emma on their engagement. So once again, it's time to get our glue on. Now I've already prepared the heel. So we've used the old heel block and JR dovetail top lifts. Now what we need to do is uh, we've sanded away a section so we put glue on the shoe. So the heel block is glued on and nailed on. But for now, let's get sticky. As well included in the video the customers left me another ferragamo where the uh, the metal portion here this clasp had broken he's taken it to another repairers and they've they've glued it back together but made a bit of a mess of it so i'm just gonna see if i can clean it up and show you what it's like there you go that'll do now, I really only just spent about four minutes doing that. And you know, just a little bit of time and attention to detail goes such a long way in shoe repairing. Okay, getting there. So, finishing touches, ladies and gents. Putting our brass heel tacks in. Now I'm actually racing to finish this job and this video, because I'm going on holiday. I'm closing at the end of the day. I'm going to Egypt, which is a long time due. I haven't had a holiday for about two years, I reckon. And Egypt is somewhere that I thought I would have gone to a long time ago because as a kid, I loved Egyptian mythology. Loved it, all the Egyptian gods and mummies and such. So it'll be interesting to visit and have a nice break from the shop and the shoes. I'll come back refreshed ready to do more shoes and more videos. Oh yeah. Okay, time for everyone's favorite part, TLC. We've got Chief Reggie overseeing the cleaning today. So what we're gonna do is start off by cleaning them ready for nourishing and polishing. So we're using Sophia Cleanser, Gentle Cleanser. So it's very good at removing dirt and old polish whilst being gentle on delicate leathers. All right. And then you can just 
just see the old muck coming off. So I've just popped a shoe tree in there and that just gives the shoe its original shape. Makes it easier for polishing, straightens out the creases whilst we're taking off all the old polish. Okay, so I've just given that a minute to dry, uh, let all the cleaner evaporate. So now what we need to do is rehydrate the uppers. So we're using our house leather cream, which is TRG. And this is just going to put nice oils and nutrients back into the leather. And we can just squeeze them on. Oh, oh, oh God. And then just work it in with our fingers. I don't think I've put too much on here. Oh, what have you done? Oh well, better to have too much and too little, that's what I always say. And I have to say, this TRG cream actually smells really nice. Now remember, if you need these products, want to get your hands on these products, visit our online store where you can get everything that we use in these videos and sell in the shop. And you can have your shoes looking the bee's knees too. Okay, that's nice and dry. Now, TLC wouldn't be anything without a nice shiny coating of wax. So, I got the Saphir out. You guys normally see me use Saphir, which tends to be the best polish, but I'm going to use Dasco today because I just don't give Dasco enough love and I really like the shine you get. I can't really explain what is different about the shine you get from Dasco shoe polish, other than it's just different. So, it's nice to use every once in a while for a slightly different effect. Now it's a slightly harder wax, so I'm applying it with a brush rather than a cloth or fingers. It doesn't really make too much difference, it's just a different way of having to do it. And there we go, job done. Okay, people, we are done, job finished, and here's the grand unveiling. There we go. All right, so we've done full JR sole, Blake stitched, the custom fiddle back waist, JR dovetail heels, the brass detailing, and of course the gold Lulu tips. I'm extremely happy with how this job's come out. I'm quite proud of this job, actually. I think it looks really cool. But the big question is, how did we do against the shoe boxes? I mean, they're full, but they're not overflowing. So considering how long I spent on this job, I'm gonna call it a win. Now, some of you might have guessed from the title, I've got a special treat for you today. We've got the customer's reaction. Loads of you always ask, why can't we see the customer's reaction? And it's very tricky to get it done. Uh, but the customer's very helpful with me this time, and he's agreed to do a little video of unboxing. So let's see what he thought of the job. Hey kids, come over here, I wanna show you something. Yossi, Ricky, come. Do you remember? that I had a pair of shoes, those nice smart shoes with the tassels on them and yeah. they got a bit worn out yeah. and I showed you, do you remember there was that man on YouTube called Dan who's yeah. a cobbler who fixed the shoes? Yeah. Well I sent them off to him and he's fixed them up for me and he said he did something special for me on it. Should we have a look at it? Yeah. Yeah? Let's, Let's have a look. So, these were the shoes, the outside looks the same, but he's taken off the sole. Oh my goodness, look at this! Isn't that nice? What a beautiful effect. Can you see that? Isn't that nice? Do you like it, Ricky? Yeah? Can you smell it? It smells like a cobbler. So let's see that one also. Wow, that's very, look how smart. Can you see there? That's very, very smart. Thanks, Dan. So that is it, that's the end of the video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to hit like, it helps me with the channel, tells YouTube what you like watching. And if you happen to be new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure to hit the notification bell, all you guys, and that will keep you in the loop every time I upload some new content. And remember to check out our online store, trainingshoerepairs.com, if you want to get your hands on any creams and polishes that we sell and use in the videos. But that's it, I'm out of here, I'm going on holiday. So I will catch you guys in the next video, but for now, take care and see you later.